Hi dear students, a warm welcome you all to the wonderful session of chemistry here. Here we are starting your grade 10 board examination preparation. We are starting the first chemistry chapter, chemical reactions and equation. One of the easiest chapter. Let's discuss the entire theory, maximum practice question discussion, everything we will do here. Let's make more confident in the chapter. In this chapter, we are mainly dealing with what are the changes happening in our nature. Certain physical changes are there, chemical changes are there, how to balance a chemical reaction what are the types of chemical reaction these are the area we are going to deal this chapter is one of the easiest and shortest chapter in your grade 10 dear all let's start our first chapter what is the name chemical reactions and equations okay i will show you some changes what is happening in our nature what is this here you see milk raw milk when it is keep it for long time into the atmosphere, you can able to see some changes happen. It converted into this form. Something has happened there. What it is? Let's discuss. Now another, this is a frying pan. You can see the frying pan. It's a maybe iron content will be there. If you keep it this iron pan and all for long time to the atmosphere, it react with the atmospheric oxygen. Something may changes into this format. You may call it as sir. It is called a rusting of iron. Yes, it is also one change. Now another, see grapes get fermented, fermentation, fruits get fermentation, right? This is also some changes and dear all, yes, here we have a yummy fish curry is there making, you go to your kitchen, you can able to see a mother making some yummy food for you. This is also some changes, right? So before, what is the vegetable, chicken, fish, these kind of items and after making the food, that is different form. So that's also some changes happening. And after making food, we have to eat it, right? So that is what digestion, that is an another change is happening there. Now, there is one important thing, we respire, right? The respiration is one another change. What we are doing there, oxygen, the gas, oxygen, we are inhaling. And after so many reactions, after so many reactions which takes place in our body, what's happening there, carbon dioxide that we are, we are expelling, this is a chemical change, right? So that are a lot of chemical and physical changes also happening there. Can you give some example for physical changes? Can you give some example for physical changes? I will give you. Melting of which one? Ice. Ice melt. What happened? Solid to liquid. Now you may, uh, you may see that uh, boiling of water. What is happening there? Water, if it boil, it get vapor. So these all are physical change. Their physical states are changing. Yes or no? So there are two type of changes, dear all. Physical change and chemical change. Are you clear? Okay. Now we are entering into the chapter here. In all the above situations, have you noticed that the initial, the nature and the identity in all these reaction, the nature and the identity of the initial substance have somewhat changed. Yes or no? So beginning what we are inhaling oxygen. After the reaction, carbon dioxide we are expelling. So there is some changes happen. What it is initial? Not in the final, right? So some changes happen. Suppose, suppose whenever a chemical change occurs, whenever a chemical change occurs, I will show you how we can understand. Sir, how we can able to understand it's a physical change, chemical change. Just wait all of you. We are going to discuss. So whenever a chemical change occurs, we can say that a chemical reaction has taken place right so chemical reactions if there is any chemical change happen then we can say there is some chemical reaction taken place okay so this is about one chemical reaction now i am going to uh, deal with uh, some activity just open your ncrt textbook you can able to see certain activities in your uh, textbook ncrt textbook what's a wonderful experiments are there dear all are you ready to watch that one i will show you what the change is happening in each reaction Be ready with a book and pen i will tell you the reaction please write it okay so three activity i'm going to show you now activity number one all of you take a magnesium because uh, before doing this activity there all this something is uh, we are dealing with the fire and all so with the assistant or your teacher you can do the experiment in your laboratory what is the experiment let me take a magnesium ribbon what is magnesium symbol you know mg take a magnesium ribbon if you take a magnesium ribbon, you can able to see that some coating will be there on that one. 
what if it is not a uh, not a fresh magnesium ribbon you can able to see some coating some coating will be the on the surface of the magnesium ribbon what is that coating can you answer dear all if you keep this magnesium for long time to the atmosphere it will react with the atmospheric oxygen and magnesium combined with the oxygen form magnesium oxide that's a coating so first we have to take a sandpaper sandpaper rub it rub it okay rub it on the surface Surface of the magnesium ribbon in order to avoid the magnesium oxide coating so when the magnesium uh, oxide coating if it is possible to remove then you will get fresh a uh, magnesium ribbon so what we have to do first dear all clean a magnesium ribbon about two centimeter long by rubbing it with sandpaper so this question is generated so one question is generated what is the question why magnesium ribbon is cleaned with a sandpaper before burning so that is to avoid or to remove the magnesium oxide coating clear all of you what is this it's a bonson flame and this is a watch glass okay now we are going for the experiment hold it with a pair of tongs take it uh, you know tongs what is tongs this is the one tongs by using this tongs this is the magnesium ribbon can you able to see that this is the magnesium ribbon a piece of that one so burn it using a spirit lamp or burner and collect the ash so what is going to happen here when this magnesium ribbon is burned when this magnesium ribbon is burned you can able to notice some ash is just start to form i will show you that dear all carefully listen here so this is our tongs this is the magnesium ribbon and this is the bonson burner and that me dear all i just flames comes here let us start to burn it dear all let me burn this one you can able to see that i'm going to burn this magnesium ribbon are you ready one two three see dear all it's burned with a white dazzling flames so magnesium ribbon that point all of you notice that magnesium ribbon burns with a white dazzling flame okay white dazzling flame so let me let me let me do some duty here all of you just let me burn it for some more time you can able to see some white some ash get generated so magnesium ribbon when it is burned magnesium ribbon when it is burned you can able to see some white ash that get generated some, some silver color type so what is the observation what you observe here what is that uh, precipitate can you able to say you know that is magnesium oxide so magnesium what is actually mean by burning burning mean reaction with the atmospheric oxygen or oxygen so magnesium is mg when it react with the oxygen atmospheric oxygen it get converted to mgo that is called magnesium oxide so what is the change happen here initially it is magnesium it react with the oxygen it form magnesium oxide so some chemical changes happen there am i right yes dear all now the conclusion is as we have observed that magnesium ribbon burn with a white dazzling flame now it changes into a white powder what is that white powder is called magnesium oxide as or no yes it is magnesium oxide it is formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen this is our first activity for a chemical reaction clear all of you what is the chemical change happened there i will show you one another reaction activity number 2 here i'm taking a test tube what is this it's a test tube and it is a beaker and this is a dropper okay what is inside this beaker that is potassium iodide ki potassium iodide what is the formula ki right potassium iodide and what is in this test tube it is lead nitrate solution so dear all first experiment is magnesium with oxygen we get magnesium oxide second reaction lead nitrate and which one potassium iodide okay let me take the dropper okay somebody comes take the dropper take the dropper yes take it and dip in the potassium iodide solution take some salt say take some sample okay add into which one lead nitrate solution what happen here dear all potassium iodide potassium iodide from the beaker we are taking by using a dropper few drops add into lead nitrate solution what's happened there yellow precipitate form 
What? Yellow precipitate. Have you noticed some color changes? Have you noticed some color changes? It is a chemical reaction, dear all. So, potassium iodide, when react with lead nitrate, we get a yellow precipitate. Yellow colored precipitate of lead iodide is formed. Dear all, this lead combined with this iodide, it forms a yellow colored lead iodide. So, this is the one of another chemical reaction. So, what is that reaction? Pot uh, the potassium iodide react with the lead nitrate. We get a yellow precipitate of lead iodide. Okay, lead iodide is formed. Let me go to the third activity. In third activity, I am going to take some piece of zinc granules. Some pieces of zinc granules. Okay, let me add into a conical flask. What is this? This is a conical flask and two beakers. So, dear all, this is for some pieces of zinc okay zinc granules are there let me put into the conical flask okay put into the conical flask to this zinc granule i'm going to add this is, this is our zinc granule i'm going to add dilute h2so4 see dilute h2so4 okay somebody take the dilute h2so4 yes few drops of dilute h2so4 take it and go and add to the zinc granules okay few drops we are adding few drops we are adding okay some more now I'm just closing, just closing the top of this conical flask with a cork to that a glass tube also provided. Now, so can you able to tell me what all species are present inside the conical flask? Two things are there, zinc granules and dilute H2SO4, right? Zinc granules and dilute H2SO4. So here, when during the reaction, have you noticed hydrogen gas is generated? So generation of some gases. So, zinc granule, when react with the dilute H2SO4, it forms some hydrogen gases. So, through the tube, we can collect hydrogen gas. Okay, hydrogen gas we can collect. Let's see what are the conclusion. Formation of some bubbles. What is this bubble actually? Hydrogen gas generated. Heat is given out. During this reaction, heat is produced. And change of state. What is the change of state happen here? Beginning, the zinc granules are in a crystal form, a solid form. Then when it react with the dilute H2SO4, it make it into what? Gaseous form. So this physical changes also. Changes in the state also what's happening there. So from this above three activity, we can able to notice that the following observation help us to determine whether a chemical reaction has taken place or not. Here I am going to tell you how can we say that a, rea a reaction happened whether it is chemical reaction or not. So five ways you can understand whether it is a chemical reaction or not. All of you, number one, number one what it is change in state whether there is a state to change it or not just to the previous example previous activity number three you may notice that or magnesium activity number one you may notice that beginning that magnesium of the magnesium ribbon or in the previous example zinc granule the zinc granule when react with the dilute h2so4 it become hydrogen gases it producing hydrogen gases yes or no so there is a physical change in state or the second one you can say change in color where you notice the change in color all of you have you remember the lead nitrate when react with the potassium iodide we got a yellow precipitate which one lead iodide right third one we can say evolution of gas in which experiment we studied evolution of gas zinc granule with the dilute h2so4 hydrogen gas generated fourth one change in temperature even the same experiment what temperature right temperature generated means it can be endothermic or exothermic there are two different type of heat related heat absorbing certain reaction absorb heat that is called endothermic reaction in certain reaction heat release that is called exothermic reaction and the fifth one formation of precipitate the lead iodide yellow colored precipitate so these are the chemical changes or if these kind of changes happen in a reaction we can able to say that yes there is a chemical reaction happened